All right, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about your dog overcoming fear of going in and out of a crate and then also creating a little command called place to add that to your repertoire of training commands. So here we go. Alrighty guys, welcome once again, Adam, your dog trainer here. If you're interested in this topic and several other topics, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So going forward, you'll be notified on when we put out new content just for you. So today we are going to be working with a dog named Luna. Luna happens to be a pit bull rescue. She has lived with the family for about uh, roughly about two years now. And Floyd is already getting all up in arms because he loves being in his cage because he's safe from all the cats in the house. But Luna is a rescue dog that they got when she was little. And a little backstory: this family is a family that I know very, very well and have become near and dear to me. And um, they've done an excellent job doing their training at home along with coming to classes consistently with their dogs. All right, this is now the second dog I have trained with this family, and they are awesome. All right, so we're going to go through step by step uh, because their dog Luna had a little bit of fear going in and out of the crate. So we're going to slowly break it down and teach you guys how to teach your dog the command place, which then becomes like go to your bed, kind of like go in your crate, and turn that crate from negative always to a positive. Let's get it going. Alrighty, so in this first segment, you're going to see Luna, which, as you notice while you're watching this, she is very timid about going in that crate. I actually was tossing treats in there, and she wouldn't even go near it. Alright, this is a very common theme that happens amongst animals because we tend to yell at the dogs as we kind of put them in their crates, or we just get frustrated. What most pet parents need to remember is make that crate a positive and never a negative. So in that last video, you saw Luna really kind of shut down as we were tossing treats in the crate and she wasn't sure what to do. Um, it's kind of frustrating. You're sitting here tossing treats in this crate and the dogs just aren't reciprocating. Uh, you'll see that Luna actually runs up to the crate but never actually breaks the barrier or breaks the plane to go in the crate. And I was trying to figure out what was causing that issue and I think I might have gotten that. So what I think is going on here is that I feel that the sound of the plastic is what's causing her issues. So I went and I grabbed a crate mat and what that does is quiet down their nails, hitting that pad or, or hitting the plastic part of going in the crate. And it turned out she actually ran in a few times as you see right there and she'll go in and out now freely uh grabbing crates off crates did i really just say crates grabbing treats off the crate mat instead of actually off the plastic mat or a plastic liner which was causing i think part of her fear one quick side note if you noticed i just tossed a treat away to kind of get the dog to snap out of what her fear was and then as soon as i dropped that treat in front of the crate she voluntarily ran in and grabbed the other treats which is super awesome Alrighty, so while we're in the in, in the zone here, why stop? Let's keep going, keep doing what we're doing. Let Luna run in and out with all the treats we have. I'm just gonna keep rewarding her every single time she goes in and out of this crate. Positive-based reinforced training at its finest right here. So at this point, I'm really starting to get an excellent back and forth from her. She's consistently offering me the in and out about 80 to 90% of the time. So I'm going to start adding a marker word to this, being the marker word place. Don't start this process until your dog offers the behavior uh, going in and out of the crate on their own at least 80% of the time. I cannot say that enough. That's for any command that you're trying to teach your dog or behavior for that matter. Take it slow and steady and let your dog learn. Remember, the slower you go, the more patient you are, the better your dog's going to reciprocate. So I'm starting to add this command place in as a marker word. And as you noticed, 
she just consistently goes in and out, in and out. And now finally, I'm getting to the point where I can actually just point and I'll say place. And you'll see that actually right here. So I said place twice and she offered it each time as you just saw right there. I can't seem to figure this out, this whole, not that way, that way. That's the way I want it to go. And I'm super proud of her. As we're doing this process, she's starting to get over that fear. She's consistently offering this behavior of her constantly just going in, coming out, going in, coming out. All right. So the next step is to say place and then get her to sit and stay even better yet lay down and close the door. So that's what we did next. And oh my gosh, she actually did it. Um, now this time lapse actually took about a total of about an hour of training class. Now I'm not going to recommend you that you do this for an hour every day. I'm going to say take these segments, break them up into smaller pieces, and then work this over the course of about a week or so. And what you'll find is you'll get a better understanding of your dog's needs, I guess you could say, overcoming that fear, and you can help them overcome it just that much better. All right. If you have any questions please hit me up in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to smash that like button if you like this video. Lastly, but most importantly, please subscribe if you like all these videos that I have and I have more to come and you'll get the notifications every single time. So hit that subscribe button. Once again, thank you for watching. This is Adam, your dog trainer, and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget, go walk your dog. So you guys think I forgot about the code word of the day. Today's code word is Kong. Kong is the code word of the day. Go ahead, leave that in the comment section below. And then I will see you on Sunday, Eastern Standard Time for our live chat with Adam, where we're going to sit and talk about all the things going on in your life. I'm going to tell you about what's going on in my life. And we're just going to talk about our dogs and figure out what we can do to help you guys be more successful and understanding about you and your pets. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video. Go ahead, leave your comment below. You can be entered in the giveaways. I'll see you on Sunday at eight o'clock. Thanks again. Go walk your dog.